What's going on everybody? This is Matt from Panda Feet Production and I'm going to give you your first look on your eBay modular kit for the 2012 Honda Civic sedan. Okay, so this kit was designed for the 2012 Honda Civic sedans uh, overseas actually. Um, with the release of the BRZ though and the FRS, this kit has actually been long overdue. So we've been waiting about eight months for this kit. Um, since it was designed for the newer models, uh, uh, overseas only it had to be revamped for the models here in the US so since no kits are actually out for it a lot of companies like Mugen, Wings West, um, any of the big body kit makers or even Honda factory performance have not released a kit for the sedan yet so a lot of guys are actually looking online at uh, K Playground or even eBay and these kits actually got released in August so I actually got the kit from Basin R Motorsports on eBay for under $500. Now the modular kit that actually is shipped out to us is actually just the lip kit. So anything overseas is actually going to be a full kit that's designed for the Honda Civic 2012-2013. With that said, this kit actually had to be redone and is now just a lip kit for our models here in the US. So let's go ahead and take a look at the kit. Uh, the lip kit that actually gets shipped out to you is shipped and wrapped um, in cardboard and shrink wrap. Uh, there is nothing else that actually is protecting the kit. When I got the kit, it came in in pretty good condition. There wasn't any physical damage to the actual packaging, so the kit actually was all intact when I got it in. Uh, it came with all the mounting bolts that I needed for the front lip and the 3M tape, also the primer adhesive um, for prepping the kit uh, for application. So there are a total of seven holes on the front lip. I actually reused two, one on the left, one on the right, with self-tapping screws right into the front bumper. And on the bottom, I actually used the, the three self-tapping screws to hold it in. I didn't use the 3M tape on the front because it actually fit pretty well. It did uh, scratch a little bit on the right side because it was a little tight. So you do have to heat it a little bit depending on your application of the kit. If uh, the kit's a little bit too hard that means the plastic or polyurethane is actually um, settled in and you can heat it up to stretch it out a little bit don't overdo it though um, because the kit will get a little flimsy kind of like dough so for the side skirts the side skirts actually get shipped to you in a large long box the box is a uh, double-sided and is basically holding the side skirts uh, together when you pull it apart though, you see the side skirts don't really have anything protecting it in the inside so they're kind of just bouncing around. They do have the bubble wrap that is actually uh, wrapped around both sides and the middle. But seeing here in the middle, what happens is since it's polyurethane, the, the rubber actually you know, kind of deforms and creates these waves in the actual kit. So you do have to mod this a little bit and it takes a little bit of time. It actually took me about two hours to actually get the kit back to shape. You can see here I'm taking the heat gun and I'm slowly uh, transferring the heat along the sides of the kit. And um, I actually ended up pulling a piece of wood out uh, to get the flat surface and to get the kit uh, smooth and even again. I actually uh, used the screws that came with the kit and drilled it right onto the l large piece of wood so that the kit didn't move around too much. And I went back and forth. I uh, used a long screwdriver or any flat so, uh, surface to uh, get the kit and flatten it back out. The biggest tip that I would say is uh, take your time with this. Uh, if you can, let your kit sit in the sun for a day or two. Uh, if it's not hot enough, that's when you got to pull out the heat gun. Try to get the shape back, get it back to its uh, natural form of uh, when it first came out of the mold, and the kit will just uh, take shape naturally. So for the fenders, there are actually seven mounting points on the side skirts. Two in the back actually have to be drilled into the metal fender. So take your 1 8 drill bit and drill right into it. Take your time with this one to make sure you get the hole nice and straight. Uh, then you can also take the mounting hardware and uh, drill it right in. And for the front, I actually had a chance to use the front mud flaps um, that actually had the screws already drilled into it uh, from the previously uh, taking the mud flaps off. I just reused that hole and uh, lined it up and drilled straight through and bolted it right up. As for the bottom, I actually only used the center uh, mounting position at this time so I can let the 
can actually settle into the body of the car. Uh, since it was a little bit warped, I wanted it to sit in the sun for a little bit while it sat on the car and take the natural shape of the car. So now for the rear lip kit. The rear lip kit is initially designed for the Honda EX and EXL, not for the SI. Because of the rear diffuser on the SI, um, the kit will not work. Uh, as you can see here, the kit actually uh, came wrapped uh, just like the front lip. And when I opened it up, it came out to be in pretty good condition. There was a little bit of a, a light wave on the bottom of the kit, but I, let, I left it in the sun for a while. It heated up, and the kit actually came back into shape. Uh, for mounting it, I actually had a chance to use the holes that were previously there from the mud flaps. So align it with one of the holes on the rear kit and just screw it in. After that, you will have to apply the secondary um, screw into the uh, rear bumper. Then on the bottom of it, you have two additional areas where you can either uh, screw it in or the long section in the middle is add the 3M tape. I did both. I actually added the 3M tape to uh, stop the drag from underneath the car and I actually bolted it in with self-tapping screws. So the biggest tip I have for this kit is to purchase new 3M tape. The 3M tape that did come with the kit actually sucked. It didn't want to stick to the kit even when we primed it. Another thing that I also did was I went out and bought some alcohol wipes to clean the kit and also the bumper on the car. So that was my review on the Magigo kit for the Honda Civic 2012 sedan. I hope you enjoyed it today. If you would like us to review anything else, leave us a comment below in the comment section. And if you liked us, please subscribe to us on the left. And have a good night.